We've got extra pin installed now. We need to now somehow get AAPS, which is Android's uh, watch version, which is absolutely amazing software. I can ball this and do everything from it, so hopefully this is what I'm going to do. So first thing to do is go into your developers mode, which you'll know anyway from previously. So we're just doing the same thing really, going to the gear icon. Now we've learned how to get to it in developers option, where the Wi-Fi we turn on, there. You go down to the, um, the Wi-Fi bits here. Sorry, I've got to go at a bit of an angle here, it's hard. Um, go at that angle for it. Then we've got to go click on debug. And here we have the IP address there. So now on the phone we go to we go to where install the two where we put our IP address in here which is the same as what's on here as you can see there. And then we click done. This time, last time we went to the bottom here to find extra what should be already installed on your uh, phone before you even attempt to do your watch. If that's not on the phone already, then there's no point attempting to do this bit. But you'll have to see my other videos on that. Um, but this time to get AP, it's um, a program, an APK file, what you have to make yourself. Um, and then once you make your own file, you'll learn how to do that by going to the docs um, to be learning how to do that with Android Studio, I think it is. Uh, let me check. I have Android Studio, which I'm using uh, 3.1 version. And you make the APK file aware APK file, and then it gives you this file, which then you transfer to your watch uh, to your mobile the APK file to then be sending to your watch. It's asked me then for a connection. Uh, I've just missed a connection on the the watch. I've just noticed then, so I've missed something on the ear. So now I need to do this again because I've missed. Oh, there it is. Allow debugging. So if you don't recognize that make sure you get that because it's important and then we can click on this bit to install it otherwise and again we've got it again okay and now as you can see there we can install it takes a little bit longer this one than the extra version nothing happens on the watch as it's doing it and there is, as you can see now, it's installed, so I click finished, and you can turn off your AD debugging on here, so now we just go to it, go back to your options, to developers options, and turn off, there, yeah, like that, right, so now once we've turned that off, we do the long press again, to changing your watch faces, select for a new watch and as you can see there are APP S1s now watch faces I like the V2 one if I can find it um, let's have a look it's that one that's the one I like the V2 let's see if my camera will focus so I'll select it before it goes off and there you go it's working straight away so we've no problem with this watch working for a Dexcom 1 sensor which is on my arm 
I'm not using any Dexcom software whatsoever. I find it useless for dyslexic people. And I also don't like the way they are towards us uh, needing what we need to be having on medical grounds. Um, things like, um, I'll give you for instance here what we can do is like speak readings, I can have that. 4.2 flat. So things that are, we don't have on the thing, we also have alarms and stuff where we can have set the different types of uh, variation things. So there's a lot more text strip than what you can get from your other programs. But also what I do like as well is, uh, it's like now I've just taken 10G uh, just to raise my sugars a little bit more because I'm going a bit low. But what I do like is that now, once you put the AAPS, there's only the APPS what can actually do this. Um, you can click on your, your bits there somewhere and you get treatments. And then you can add, like now I've had 10G. If I was on a pump, I wouldn't need to do this, but obviously I'm not. And that then uh, will go in after the second swipe to accept it. Now that's done on the watch. Now I wait for it to come onto the extra, which you'll see come up here in a minute. There you go. So that's your 10 G what's just come up there from the watch and documented. And also if I go to the APPS one here, I can have treatments here to just see what's going on. Just be checking at the top. Um, let's have a look. I can't see where my treatment bits have gone to. Oh, I don't know where my treatments. I, I normally have treatments at the top. Must have moved it. Actions. Let's have a look if my treatments are really Treatments there. So, them are the treatments. I've just taken 10G there. But normally, I have it across. Flat. Four point four flat. I'll turn that off now. It's no no good now because I'm at home, um, so I don't want it on now. But it is handy that to be having. There's also emergencies though um, for your emergency messages. There's also then your screen savers um, by going to settings, um, speak readings there. I don't know where I did um, display settings yet. And then there's your lock on wall screen, or you go to your um, your main wall on your phone um, display for screen saver. If you look at your screen savers there, and your X strips there as well. So there's a few different ways you can actually have your um, nighttime one on. Um, when you want it on during night for recharge, you know, everything, this is not watch. You need to go to your um, settings, you need to go to developers and make sure that a, so that is on there, stay awake, was charging. So what it does when you're docking it on your, your docker thing, then it will be doing it. And also this is on me. I've worked to uh, some of them. There, can you see there? I can have it on that. I can also have it on the screen servers like this. And you click on it like that, and it comes on like that. I think that's it. There you go. 